Only 27% of new graduates in STEM fields in the U.S. secure a job in their field within six months of graduation. The job prospects for recent graduates have dropped significantly compared to last year. So, what is really going on? In February 2025, the unemployment rate for recent graduates increased sharply compared to the previous year. By March 2025, the unemployment rate for recent grads reached 5.8%, up from 4.6% a year earlier. Alongside this, job offers declined by 15% compared to the previous year, indicating that the employment outlook is not improving. Labor market conditions for recent college graduates have worsened noticeably over the past few months. Several factors are at play here, including federal budget cuts, uncertainties around tariff policies, and the rapid expansion of artificial intelligence, AI, all of which have made the tech job market particularly challenging. As 2025 progresses, signs of a deteriorating job market for young professionals are becoming increasingly clear. Data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York shows that the unemployment rate for recent college graduates rose to 5.8% in March 2025, up from 4.6% in March 2024. Traditionally, college graduates enjoyed unemployment rates well below the national average. Now this gap has narrowed to historic lows, reflecting the shrinking opportunities for young workers. Many graduates face a bottleneck at the entry-level job stage, as companies maintain steady hiring levels but are reluctant to expand. Even more concerning is the rise in underemployment. In March 2025, 41.2% of recent graduates were working in jobs that did not require a college degree, up from 40.6% the previous year. This points to a significant mismatch between academic training and labor market demand, particularly acute in tech, where education and employability typically correlate strongly. An analysis found that both employers and job seekers are frozen by uncertainty. This has led to a visible contraction in available opportunities. For instance, internship offers, which typically surge in spring, dropped by 11 percentage points compared to last year. 62% of young graduates are currently not working in their intended career fields. Experts highlight that internships are often a better indicator of job market health than entry-level jobs, as the latter increasingly require multiple years of prior experience, effectively shutting out most recent graduates. This cooling in the labor market isn't limited to tech, a survey conducted between February and March 2025 found that major corporations such as Chevron, PepsiCo, and Southwest Airlines have reduced plans to hire recent graduates. Only 24.6% of surveyed firms plan to increase entry-level hiring in spring 2025, down from 27% in fall 2024. This is the lowest rate recorded since fall 2020, at the height of the pandemic crisis. Salary forecasts show mixed signals. Projections indicate that salaries for computer science graduates are expected to fall by 3.6%, while salaries in agriculture and natural resources are projected to increase by 2.8%. However, these figures were collected before the new administration took office and don't yet reflect the impact of recent fiscal and tariff policies implemented in early 2025 under President Donald Trump's second term. On the financial side, the Department of Education has resumed collection of federal student loans that were paused during the pandemic, leaving millions of Americans worried about wage garnishments or benefit seizures. The Trump administration reinstated measures including automatic paycheck deductions, tax refund seizures, and garnishment of Social Security, disability, or retirement benefits for those delinquent on federal student loans. Reports show that 20.5% of federal student loan borrowers are over 90 days behind on payments, an increase of 10 percentage points compared to five years ago. This rising delinquency adds direct financial pressure on recent graduates entering an already difficult job market. Although the U.S. economy created 177,000 jobs in April 2025, surpassing expectations, experts warn of a slowdown ahead. Wage growth has stalled, and hiring processes are taking longer, reflecting a competitive environment for recent graduates. Federal budget cuts have notably affected the tech sector. Since the start of President Trump's second term, 
the federal civilian workforce has shrunk by 26,000 positions. In total, 260,000 federal employees have either accepted early retirement, been laid off, or taken severance packages. A $2.7 billion funding shortfall in 2023 for agencies like the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Standards and Technology has restricted public sector research and development, directly impacting job creation in tech. Ongoing trade conflicts have hit consumer confidence hard. It's dropped to its lowest level in 13 years. As families reduce spending, industries relying on domestic consumption, including many tech companies offering retail products and services, have cut costs and frozen hiring. This has further decreased the number of new jobs in the tech labor market. The economy remains stable overall, but companies are hesitant, trying to navigate new trade policies. This uncertainty has led many employers to pause new hires, redirecting billions in hiring budgets towards areas deemed more strategic or secure. AI is expected to disrupt employment worldwide. By 2025, it may replace approximately 85 million jobs, but also create 97 million new roles, resulting in a net gain of 12 million jobs. However, many of these new roles demand specialized AI skills, which recent graduates often lack. Automation of basic tech tasks has reduced hiring for entry-level positions. Additionally, AI tools are changing recruitment processes. By mid-2025, 65% of HR departments reported using AI for candidate screening, onboarding, and retention forecasting. This means companies increasingly focus on candidates with specific skills and practical experience. Unfortunately, this raises barriers for new graduates who lack work experience, while companies offer fewer opportunities to build it. It is estimated that over 120 million workers worldwide will need retraining due to labor market changes driven by AI. For young tech graduates, these shifts create an environment of uncertainty that reshapes their career goals and aspirations. A recent survey found that more than half of college students graduating in 2025 have given up hope of landing their dream job. Moreover, 56% of seniors reported feeling somewhat or very pessimistic about entering the job market. This anxiety reflects the reality facing thousands of young people who, despite investing heavily in college education, confront a labor market that is restrictive, unpredictable, and often unwelcoming. Over the past decade, STEM graduation rates have soared. The Computing Research Association reports that the number of computer science graduates increased by over 70% from 2012 to 2022. Meanwhile, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, entry-level tech job growth only rose by about 20% during the same period. This mismatch leads to an oversaturated market and fierce competition among graduates. Many companies like IBM and Microsoft emphasize upskilling current employees rather than hiring new graduates. LinkedIn Learning's 2024 report found that 72% of employers prioritize investing in current staff over new hires, reducing entry-level job openings for graduates. The Economic Policy Institute estimates that over 1.4 million tech jobs have been offshored from the U.S. since 2000. Positions such as software development and technical support are increasingly outsourced to countries like India, the Philippines, and Vietnam, reducing domestic opportunities. A 2024 National Association of Colleges and Employers survey showed that 48% of tech employers feel recent grads lack necessary skills. Many university programs have yet to fully integrate emerging fields like AI, blockchain, and DevOps into curricula, leaving graduates less prepared for modern tech roles. PwC's 2025 Talent Trends report highlights that 63% of employers require at least two years of experience for tech jobs, with only 17% open to hiring fresh graduates without work history. Companies seek candidates who can hit the ground running to minimize training costs and risks. The tech job market for new graduates in 2025 is facing multiple interconnected challenges. 
oversupply of candidates, shifting employer hiring preferences, economic and policy uncertainties, and rapid technological change. Graduates must adapt by gaining practical skills, pursuing internships, networking effectively, and staying informed on industry trends. While the landscape is tough, those who prepare strategically can still find pathways to rewarding tech careers.